Okay, right, so in this video I just wanted to make a reminder for myself about how I had this set up and so that I know what to do and what to expect next time I have an Xtrek Stomp XL and the things that I did to get it to where you've seen it in the other videos. So when you first boot up, this is the view that you'll see. So A, B, C and D correspond with presets. Um, you can bank up to the next four presets and bank down. I think if you press these buttons in, you can get into snapshot mode and then it will revert back to preset mode. And you can go into preset mode so you can scroll through presets. So you've got options there. You can go between snap mode uh, and preset mode. You can, oh, interesting. So what I've got there is presets here, and I can cycle through snapshots. And then if I press mode, I can also turn off bits and pieces. So, so if you hold in, I can now go between bank. So that was the default, wasn't it? I hold in again, I can get to preset mode, so I can cycle through presets with these up and down buttons. I hold in again, I can cycle through snapshots and have presets. We'll go into snapshot mode like that if I press them both down at the same time. And then mode, a short press, takes me into like a pedal mode. Right. So I think that's making some sense. So long press to switch these two between the modes so you can cycle through banks. You can cycle through presets and double pressing them automatically takes you into snapshots or you can double press again and these will function now as cycling through snapshots in each preset. Hopefully that makes some sense and pressing mode in this particular setup will by default take you to like a pedal mode. So what did I do? So let's start with an empty preset. So you'll see you cycle through snapshots as we just were, or you cycle through banks, or you cycle through presets. Pressing mode will take you to this little screen. Okay, so I think here's what I've done. I've gone into global settings, and in the settings, what have I done? I've gone to foot switches, and I've set snapshot mode to be latch and I think that's all that I've changed so now let's just go back to here if I go into snapshot mode uh, by holding in it stays in snapshot mode so I think that would be how I would use it I think and then maybe I would have that bank between presets or something pressing them in always takes me to snapshot mode at the moment and if I press mode I can get out of that snapshot mode I think anyway so what I think I'm gonna do is run in this mode so if I go to this view here so I press mode to get to here um, I'll just drop in some stuff so that we've actually got something to play with. So here's what I think I would do. I think these three switches I want to be snapshot A, B, C and long hold for snapshot D. So one, two, three and four. And then I want a six switch looper on this switch and the drive here and the delay here. I think that's what I want to do. So I think here's how I do that. Uh, so I can assign by pressing here the easy stuff same as with the stomp and then the six button looper I want to be here so just assign that and then the delay let's put here so that's doing the, the normal stuff that we're comfortable with and then we can get into the looper here then what I will do is I think if I go back to this view and then hold one of these buttons or tap one of them or something don't know how I do it there's definitely a mode where I can do this ah f 
So, again, I have to do this again now. So, I'm assigning that to there, the drive. The delay, I'm going to assign to this switch B. And then the looper are assigned to this switch. So, that's what we want, I think. Now, I'll just save that so that that doesn't happen again. And now I want snapshot mode along the top. So I think I need to do something first in the command center before this will work. But if I press view, so nothing happens yet. So I press these two, go into command center. And now what I'm going to do is change foot switch one to the snapshot command. So it's going to go press release and snapshot one. Press release on this one will be snapshot two, and then press release on this one will be this dog's going now. Press hold, so press will get snap three, and hold will get snap four. I think that's what I want to do. And now I think if I press one of these in this view, you can get straight to command center because there are commands. So that's quite a neat little shortcut. Uh, right, let me just save that. And now what you see is hopefully, this is kind of my view now of the, the pedal assignment. So I've got those things going on. Simple delay, snapshot, snapshot up, or you know, whatever you want to do. So just show you again, I can go into here. I set that one to snapshot two. And yeah, so I think that's how I would set that up. Now, if I press mode, I can still get into other modes like preset mode or this view. And if I'm in that view, I think if I press those two, I get into the generic snapshot mode. So there's a lot of flexibility with this. Um, I think it will take a bit of time to get your head around it. It's not quite as simple as I necessarily thought. I thought, okay, I know how a HX Stomp works. I know how a Helix works. I'm going to know how this works. Well, actually, there's quite a few different ways to skin this particular cat if you are choosing to skin a cat. Uh, why would you do that? I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, if you've got an HX Stomp, I think you'll be familiar with how an HX Stomp works. If you've got a Podgo, I think you'll know how that works. And if you've got a Helix, I think you'll know how that works. This works slightly differently if you've got a lot of different options for how you can kind of run this stuff and this mode switch is it's kind of useful a lot of options and a lot of different ways that you could do things so that was just a reminder for me to how I got to this setup that I think I'm going to use um, thank you for stopping by and uh, hope that is useful for you in the future John cheers <laughs>